Hello, um, I'm still Katie Coppola. I'm very sorry about that. Um, this is the second little tutorial thingum. Uh, the first one was about how to cut out this lovely looking uh, person from a white background and get rid of the, the little white halo that surrounds her. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and this next one is going to be about liquify, which is just the most useful thing that Photoshop does. And it was it was liquify that convinced me to switch from Picasso. <sighs> and now Sooty's dying of shame, by the way. Um, OK, I'm going to make a copy of this layer because I am very sad and I like to flick back and forth between the before and after. So that's the before hidden above and this is going to be the after. So go to filter and then liquify and it pops open this window here. Um, now this bit along the side, this one's the one that I will usually use, it's forward warp but it does um, it does have some other things like, uh, like bloat, um, if you've ever wondered what you would look like with one massive boob. There's your massive boob right there, um, so that's what bloat does. Um, or pucker, beautifully named pucker. Um, maybe you've got one massive boob and you want to know what you would look like with a, a very puckered boob. Um, maybe, maybe that's maybe that's your thing. Um, but what I basically always use is this forward warp tool and it just pushes your avatar around. Um, now brush density, brush pressure, I never mess with anything anything of this and I know I probably should and it would probably be very useful to me if I did but I just never do. Um, a note about the brush size, you kind of use whatever you're comfortable with but Kaz says, um, Kaz, Kaz says uh, to use a smaller brush size as possible. Um, I tried that and it was just taking forever and I'm very impatient so um, I, I use a, I, I change my brush sizes quite a lot. Sometimes you need a, a tiny little one. Um, but what you do, because avatars, they're they're clunky. You know the mesh is, I don't know if you noticed, but it's sort of like we're made of boxes and it ain't pretty. But what Liquify does is it sort of softens you out, makes you look all, all squishy. Squishy is the kind of word that I use in real life, by the way. I am this retarded in the real life. I just called it the real life, didn't I? Ooh, that's Wow. Okay, so I'm just going around and I'm softening up all the bits. Um, boobs, boobs bugger the avatar mesh right up. So quite often you'll have to uh, de-stretch some of the textures around there. Um, armpits, always tricky. <sighs> armpits always tricky. It's one of those things you can only say in Second Life, like. Wow, mum, nice boobs, you know. Can't say that in the real life. Did it again. Um, Liquify is particularly good for elbows. Um, elbows are shit. Um, I think my avatar has man wrists, I'm not going to lie. Because my wrists are always just like that. Like that bit up there. What the fuck is that, really? There we go. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can just go around and you soften it all up. And you make it all look all lovely and nice and I always blush a little bit when I'm photoshopping an avatar crotch. It's true. I'm that much of a sad prude. I'm a prude with the mouth of a sailor. <laughs> oh and I always I always uh, chub up the bums a bit. <laughs> Here. Boobs. You'll liquefy boobs a lot. Um, fingers I always do with the smudge tool and I will show you that in a in a minute. Um, this is a Kaz trick. Okay. See the wrinkles that the lovely creator spends so long putting onto our onto the clothes. It makes it look so much more realistic. If you just sort of go round and you pop them out just a little bit. Oh, now liquefy's broken. There we go. So use the, the white bits for where there's a highlight. Because the highlight means that there's something poking out. And it's catching the light. 
when you go around. And like some anally retentive cat lady who needs to get laid. Hi. Um, you, you poke at all the little wrinkles. Yeah, I take absolutely no credit for this. This is all Kaz. Ask him to show you the photo in his Flickr photo stream that he did after he first discovered this trick many moons ago, pre Katie. She looks like she's wearing, I don't know, a rod of string. It's brilliant though. Anyway, so that's liquefy. You hit OK. This is when Photoshop crashes. <laughs> there you go. And then you get to flip back and forth like that. Oh, I love it. Love it. And that's uh, that's how we do that. Um, thank you for listening. Um, if this has been no help to you whatsoever, then in some way I'm sure we can all blame Sooty. And, um, and yeah, thank you. <laughs>